guys, look at this snow again. Snowing. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am officially done with my January grocery haul and I got my hair cut. But I think there was a miscommunication between uh, me and the stylist because I thought I was just getting like a haircut and she did like a blunt haircut. I thought she was going to cut it like this so it like blends nicely but you know. Anyway, so I'll have to schedule something to fix it because it looks a little crazy. So this grocery haul is a little bit different than all my other ones. The other grocery hauls I've done, I plan out the entire month of breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. So the difference is I have planned all the breakfast, lunch, and snacks for the month, but I've only planned 10 dinners because my husband is trying like a new diet slash meal planning thing, you know, with all the holiday food from Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, all the baking I did. He's just trying to like reset his body by having hard boiled eggs for breakfast and a bagel and like chicken breast, chicken, veggies, and rice for lunch and then regular food for dinner. So we have never planned our groceries like that before. So that's why I'm only planning 10 dinners because I don't know how long the leftovers will last and I don't want just like a bunch of leftover food in our fridge. So, our budget is still the same, $550 for the month, $500 at the beginning of the month, and then $50 halfway through. You will see almost a full grocery haul, but we're just missing a bunch of dinner meals that I normally make. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my Walmart pickup order, and it was $288 and some change. Okay, so what we have is six three-pound bags of chicken breast. That was like the only bags they had. Two containers of cream cheese for my husband to use on the bagels that we're gonna get. We have four pounds of butter, five half gallons of milk, just this little thing of sliced cheese, sour cream, three pounds of beef, frozen broccoli, two boxes of garlic bread, three of these Colby Monterey Jack cheeses. This is what we use on our quesadillas. And then I just got one bag of mozzarella. Look, I still haven't made the gingerbread houses. I mean, at some point, we're gonna make them. And then we got the baby, a bunch of yogurts that she can drink because usually I share my yogurt with her, but I'm trying to get her to be more like independent. So I got these for her and then we have seven, six packs of yogurt. And then we needed some baby wipes. So I just got this three pack instead of like a giant 10 pack. Dawn dish soap baby soap, lotion, two bags of tortilla chips, only one five pound bag of flour because we still have two full bags and then the bag in the front is like a third full. I'm gonna be making chocolate chip cookies and we like using these chocolate chips. So if you haven't tried the recipe, it's on the bag. But this is the best chocolate chip cookie we've ever had, ever. And then we need brown sugar. I just got a two ounce thing of vanilla baking powder, eight pound bag of pinto beans. We have three spaghetti sauces. And then I'm trying this pizza crust again, instead of just like the frozen pizza, because uh, I don't know. I like, it tastes like more fresh, even though the dough isn't fresh. And then they gave me like an expired pizza, pizza crust. Look at it, December 17th. So. I mean, it looks green. I don't think it's supposed to. It's gross. So we'll return that one. And then this is what I use for pizza sauce. I just squish these whole peeled tomatoes and then add a little salt. And then that is our pizza sauce. It's really good. And then broccoli, bananas. This is three cans of petite diced tomatoes, two big green bean cans. I didn't know this was the little cans, so whoopsies but three little cans of uh, corn and then we have four cans of tomato sauce two 80 count tortillas and then two pounds of penne six boxes of baby shark four boxes of these small shells that I use in sopa de fideo one big old box of gummy snacks 40 count and then this is four pounds of spaghetti. And then we have two big bags of cereal. 
And then 60 count of eggs, and this is, what is this? They had to substitute it, so I don't even know what it is. And we have four of these 18 count of eggs here. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to Walmart because I don't really trust the like shopper to get produce that isn't like old or damaged because as you saw, they gave me very expired pizza crust. So I'm gonna go back to Walmart, get some produce, and then go to Wegmans, and then that should be it for this day of shopping. Sophia's moving the jelly over to the table, and it's a little frightening. Wow, thank you, Sophia. Okay, so this is, just leave it. Can you leave it? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, so I went back to Walmart because you know, I just forgot stuff, obviously. So we have two potatoes. This is for the beef burritos. Usually I get three big potatoes because I cut the recipe in half. I try to get two small ones. Peanut butter, blackberries, grapes. Oh no, just throw in my tomato. Don't. Okay, and then, yeah, blackberries, grapes. Two of these pasta with meat sauce for the ziti. I got more corn. I don't I don't know how to buy canned corn. I don't know what the difference between golden sweet whole corn is and all the other corn. So I just got more corn. Three pounds of apples. I just got seven pears just as a snack. Two tomatoes. A bag of jalapenos to make chile with. I have, hold on. Right here. I have six jars of jelly and this is from Wegmans and then I did get a new pizza dough pizza crust thing you know not an expired one and then we have 10 more boxes of baby shark I just got this big variety pack because I didn't want to do the math on you know how many we need so many bagels uh one two three four five six seven eight nine nine loaves of bagels then we have two French bread loaves that are for our homemade tomato soup. We just like cut it up and then dip it in the soup. And then seven loaves of bread. Okay guys, so the final, final grocery total is $399.99. So that gives me a lot of wiggle room to see how the rest of the dinners go for the rest of the month. Because again, that wasn't an entire month's grocery haul, but it pretty much was the majority of it. So fingers crossed all this meal prepping goes well for my husband. And hopefully, you know, I can get my haircut fixed. I called and left a message, but they're supposed to call me back. So we'll see. If not, I'll just let it grow out and then not go to that place again for a haircut. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching my video, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.